the James Webb Space Telescope has made a record-breaking observation in deep space. The Infrared Observatory has given astronomers their first detailed glimpse of supernovae from when our universe was just a small fraction of its current age. Within a patch of sky about the size of a rice grain held at an arm's length, Webb has discovered at least 80 supernovae, increasing the number of known supernovae in the early universe by tenfold. Some of these newly found supernovae are the farthest we've ever seen, including ones that help us measure how fast the universe is expanding. To discover supernovae, the team compared several images taken up to a year apart, searching for sources that either appeared or vanished. These objects, which change in brightness over time, are known as transients. Supernovae are a specific type of transient. The team spent over 100 hours of Webb's observing time on each image, and the results have opened a new window into the early universe. The High Redshift Transient Universe is like a hidden chapter in the story of the cosmos. This period, when the universe was less than 2.2 billion years old, holds secrets about the early stages of galaxy formation, the growth of cosmic structures, and the mysterious dark energy. To unlock these secrets, astronomers focus on transient phenomena, such as supernovae, which are dramatic, short-lived events that can tell us a lot about the universe's early days. Studying these explosive events, like supernovae, is incredibly important for three primary reasons. First, supernovae are the dramatic final stages of massive stars. By observing them, we can learn how stars were born, lived, and died in the early universe, which helps us understand their life cycle. Second, there's a special type of supernova called Type 1a supernovae. They occur in binary star systems, when a white dwarf star accretes material from its companion star until it reaches a critical mass. This triggers a runaway nuclear reaction, causing the white dwarf to explode. These supernovae have a consistent brightness, making them reliable, standard candles. By measuring their brightness, astronomers can calculate vast cosmic distances. This is like using a known-sized light bulb to determine how far away a distant streetlight is. Observing these supernovae helps us trace the universe's expansion over time and gives us clues about dark energy, the mysterious force driving this expansion. Third, supernovae play a crucial role in enriching the universe with essential elements. When a supernova explodes, it spreads elements like carbon and iron into space. These elements are the building blocks for planets and life. Without supernovae, the universe wouldn't have the ingredients needed to form planets or support life as we know it. However, exploring these distant events is challenging for several reasons. First, objects at high redshifts are incredibly far away and faint. As their light travels across the universe, it gets stretched and dimmed, making it much harder to see them clearly. Second, Fleeting events like supernovae require precise timing and repeated observations. We need to catch them at the right moment, which can be tricky. Third, high redshift surveys, which search for these distant events, usually cover small areas of the sky. This makes it even harder to find these rare occurrences because we're looking at only a tiny part of the universe at a time. Lastly, Earlier telescopes didn't have the sensitivity and clarity needed to see such distant, dim objects. They couldn't capture enough light or provide sharp enough images to study these faraway phenomena effectively. But the James Webb Space Telescope changed everything. It is equipped with powerful instruments that can observe in the near and mid-infrared range. This is important because light from these distant events stretches into the infrared as it travels across the expanding universe. By detecting this faint infrared light, JWST can spot supernovae and other transient phenomena, otherwise too dim for telescopes to see. Also, Webb has incredibly high spatial resolution. This means it can capture very detailed images, allowing astronomers to see not just the supernovae, but also the galaxies they occur in and their surrounding environments. 
These detailed views can help scientists understand the conditions in which these supernovae explode. Finally, the telescope has a wide field of view and excellent survey capabilities. This increases the chances of discovering these rare and fleeting events because it can observe larger areas of the sky at once. This is like having a bigger net when fishing, you're more likely to catch something. To make these discoveries, the team analyzed images from the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey Program or the JADES program. Before Webb was launched, only a few supernovae had been found at a redshift above 2. This redshift corresponds to when the universe was just 3.3 billion years old, or about 25% of its current age. The redshift, often denoted as Z, is a measure of how much the expansion of the universe has stretched the wavelength of the light from distant images. Z equals zero represents the present time. The higher the redshift, the further back in time we are looking. The JADES program discovered many supernovae that exploded even earlier, when the universe was less than 2 billion years old. Previously, scientists used NASA's Hubble Space Telescope to see supernovae from the young adult stage of the universe. Now, with JADES, they are observing supernovae from the universe's teen or preteen years. In the future, they hope to look back even further to the toddler or infant phases of the universe. The researchers also confirmed the farthest supernova ever spectroscopically identified, with a redshift of 3.6. This means its star exploded when the universe was only 1.8 billion years old. It was a core collapse supernova, an explosion of a massive star. Astrophysicists are particularly interested in Type 1a supernovae, exploding stars that shine with such predictable brightness that they are used to measure vast cosmic distances and help calculate the universe's expansion rate. Recently, scientists identified a Type 1a supernova at a redshift of 2.9. This means the light from this explosion began traveling to us 11.5 billion years ago, when the universe was just 2.3 billion years old. To put it into perspective, the previous record for the farthest spectroscopically confirmed Type 1a supernova was at a redshift of 1.95, dating back to when the universe was 3.4 billion years old. Why is this important? Scientists want to analyze these distant supernovae to ensure that their intrinsic brightness remains constant regardless of their distance. This is critically important because if their brightness varies with redshift, they would not be reliable markers for measuring the expansion rate of the universe. Researchers study this newly discovered supernova at redshift 2.9 to see if its intrinsic brightness differed from what was expected. While this is only the first such object studied, the initial results show no evidence that the brightness of Type 1a supernovae changes with redshift. This finding supports current theories about the universe's expansion rate and its ultimate fate. This study has opened a new window into the transient universe. The early universe was vastly different from what we see today, with extreme environments and conditions. Scientists expect to find ancient supernovae from this era that originated from stars containing far fewer heavy chemical elements than stars like our Sun. By comparing these ancient supernovae with those in our local universe, astrophysicists aim to gain a deeper understanding of star formation and the mechanisms behind supernova explosions during those early times. The researchers said that since Webb is so sensitive, it's finding supernovae and other transients almost everywhere it's pointed. It found 80 supernovae in this patch of sky, which is about the width of a rice grain held at an arm's length. It will be interesting to see what the infrared observatory finds in the coming years and how it rewrites astronomy textbooks, leading to a better understanding of the universe. Recently, Astronomers found the strongest evidence of a new planet in the solar system. This new planet, called Planet 9, is believed to be 10 times more massive than Earth. If you missed this episode, be sure to catch up on the exciting discovery. And if you learned new things from this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for regular space updates.